playing. You're uh, we, we we always show you in the locker room before these these games, and you've got the hoodie on, and I think the headphones underneath that, and you're you're looking down, and you're so focused. What's when did that come about? How did that come about? And and where are you uh, mentally during that process? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think I've done that uh, for a while now. Uh, just, I don't know, like you said, just focusing, uh, kind of getting ready for the game, and uh, just kind of tuning things out, I guess, listening to music. What What are you listening to? Uh, usually rap, uh, hip hop, stuff like that before games, and uh, yeah, it's mostly before games and then outside of the ring, pretty much anything. And did it come about just since you've been in the NHL, or? Or because our cameras no, are in there. No, no, I've done it. Uh, done it before. Like even I was at the program, so it's on everything. So um, yeah, I think I've been doing it for uh, for a while now. Hey, uh, Austin! First time I've ever had a chance to talk to you. Congratulations on a great start to your career. Um, you've done a Thank great you. job. Um, so you're getting eighteen thirty three a game in ice time. That's what you're averaging. He probably knows that. What would you like? 21 <laughs> what would you really uh, if your ideal ice time if you could go in and say uh mr babcock i think i should be playing 21 30 17 30 what would your ideal ice time be because steve eiserman used to say this to me in detroit he used to when he when i was coaching him there he used to tell me how much he'd really like would he play. call you mr mclean no he wouldn't call me mr mclean <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, it's not really up to me, right? But, I mean, of course, I think everybody, would, you know, wants to be out there, wants to play as much as they can, but ultimately that's, uh, that's not up to us. So, um, you know, whatever, uh, however much I play, try to help the team win and do whatever I can. But, um, yeah, I mean, I would love to play. Uh, I think, you know, everybody would agree that they'd, they'd love to play more and want to play as much as they can. How do you compare this year to uh, your rookie year last year and uh, what this team and, and playing in Toronto and the expectations of these hockey fans? Yeah, I think the expectations changed quite a bit since last year, but, um, you know, our first year was kind of just, you know, everybody's new seven, eight rookies in the lineup every night. And, um, you know, it's, you just kind of experience everything for the first time. And, uh, you know, now this year, I was a bigger expectation from the outside and, uh, um, bigger expectation uh, from within and uh, within the locker room, and uh, for us, I mean, we we expect to win every night, no matter who we play, and uh, you know it's kind of been the the case. Yeah, you know, some ups and downs this year, obviously, uh, you know, a tough stretch for us, but I think uh, in the long run, I think it'll uh, a little adversity, uh, you know, help us out hopefully. What part of the game do you think you've improved the most year to year? Uh, well, defensively, I think. Uh, been a big improvement for me. Um, you know, it's something that Babs has, uh, you know, helped me out and kind of been all over me with, uh, from the start of last year in training camp and everything. So uh, it's it's not easy to, uh, you know, play play down low, play center, uh, especially when you're going against uh, top guys every night. So um, that's definitely been my, my biggest challenge for sure. And I think just, uh, you know, skating, uh, speed through the neutral zone and just, um kind of being able to push their D back and uh, create time and space for my linemates. Austin, uh, the the one play that jumps out continually is that that pull and drag shot, and, and you've scored some great goals. Whether it's Price or whether it's any you know the top goalies in the league, how much time do you spend on that particular move shot? And how I mean, is that your go to play, go to um, shot? I should say. Yeah, honestly, uh, one summer, I think, the year before, the summer I was drafted, I think, um, I just spent uh, all summer working on my on my shot and uh, different release points, uh, you know, tough puck to catch and tie it or far away for you in, or in your skate and kind of just worked on that, um, you know, all summer. And uh, I think it's just been real comfortable for me now just being able to shoot it. From you know whatever angle, or, uh, like you said, the, the kind of pull and drag. So um, yeah, I mean that's probably my my favorite, my go-to because you know I'm more of just like a snapshot kind of guy, yeah. and, uh, kind of trying to change the angle and uh, you know get the goalie or the defenseman 
uh, using as a screen and try to get the goal and move in one way and, and shoot the other. What's the flex of your stick? I use uh, 82. Okay, 82. Because we had Patrick Kane on the other night. He was, uh, he was over 100. So I'm, seven. Just, I'm just curious. Some, and Johnny Goudreau uses something Six, in a 65. 65. So yeah. uh, go ahead. No, I, 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 Austin, I was just, when you sit on the bench, I, I always ask, what guy in your team do you enjoy watching play? We, we've we been marveling about Will Nylander and what he's done, and obviously Marner's exciting to watch, but do you sit and marvel at what they do as much as we marvel at your uh, your game? Well, we're usually not there with Willie, so um, sometimes I, I get stuck out there and you just watch him dance around some guys and he's just going in circles and going through three or four guys at a time. But, uh, yeah, probably Mitch. I mean, uh, he's obviously a special player. He, he's uh, smart. He sees the ice so well and, you know, makes some, makes some pretty incredible plays out there. And, Obviously, a fun player to watch, and uh, especially when he's when he's gone, and, uh, he's, he's obviously a tough player to to stop out there if you're the opposing team. So, you no, know, I'd have to agree with you guys on that one. I'd probably go with Mitch. Do you do you do you guys challenge each other? I mean, just because of what one guy can do, is there is there a, a wink and a nod when you come back to the bench that I hey I I might be able to do something just as fancy or just as crazy? Uh, I don't know. I mean. We're all pretty good friends. Like we all want to see each other do well, and uh, ultimately, uh, you know, we want to see each other do well because it helps the team. Um, but you know, I think everybody's competitive. Everybody wants to be the best player they can be, and so you know, when you have so many young guys, so many talented guys, and um, you know, it, it, I think it just pushes everybody uh, to be better, and you know, it's definitely a positive team for us. So. I, I'm one of the better dressed guys here at Sportsnet, <laughs> excluding, of course, Don Cherry. You know. Yeah. And I and I watch sure. your I watch your fashion styles and I I mean I'm not sure I like the purple suit but I like a lot of the other stuff and I'm sort of starting the to hats the, the hats. hats I'm starting to try you know I mean I may move into a little more of your style and than my baggy look you know, <laughs> uh, know. where did you become this uh, style guy <laughs> uh, I think when I went over to Europe you know I see a lot of uh, different things over there so. That's probably when I first started getting into it, but um, I don't know if I'm the guy with the purple suit. I think you have me in the States with Mitch because he's got like yeah. three of them. Yeah. But, well, it's a, is it a um, mo? Would it be a? It was a mo. I thought I saw the other night. Anyway, it it looks good, man, and the hats look good. Hey, and I mean, you 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 look like you're ready to play when you're coming down the hallway. Yeah, <laughs> you look good. You play so, good. Austin Matthews yeah, is with that's, us. That's what I've heard. Um, <laughs> have you always wanted to be a referee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, thinking about life after hockey. <laughs> so, what what do you think of that play? Have you, have you seen the the highlight of you and beside Gordy Dwyer on Monday night? Yeah. And, this just came to you, or yeah. because of the the goal know, that was yeah, waved off? It just, just gave me. Um, I don't know. I thought. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of controversy going on with uh, these goals that are getting called back with goal interference and stuff. And uh, I think our whole bench kind of, you know, we thought when we saw the replay that it was going to be a, a no-brainer, that was going to be, a, you know, a goal. But uh, they ended up calling it back. And, you know, lucky enough, we scored the next shift. So I was pretty excited and uh, made sure I called it a goal before anybody else could call it off. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> that's funny. You you had the great... Uh... Uh, inscription to the stick to Craig Anderson after the four goal game. So if we get you a print of of you pointing at the net beside Gordy Dwyer, uh, what what would you sign it to? What would the inscription be? <laughs> uh, I have no idea, honestly. Uh, our equipment manager actually came up with that uh, that inscription to to Craig. So uh, maybe I'd probably run it by him again. He'd probably figure out something pretty uh, pretty funny. Um, Go from there, I guess. Tell me what it's like to be on the ice tomorrow night. You've been through it once before with all the other stars of the NHL. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit less uh, less nerve wracking for me. Uh, you know, the first year, you, you're uh, you know your first year, and you don't really know what to expect. You don't want to really step on anybody's toes, and you can be pretty nervous out there. So um, uh, it's exciting this year. You kind of know what to expect. You know, some of the guys that. Uh, we're obviously there last year, and um, you know, I have a little bit more fun out there, and, and just enjoy myself. You and Anderson are, are pretty uh, good acquaintances. Yeah, we're pretty uh, good buddies, I'd say. 
Um, to have a goalie as a buddy with the extreme pressure that they go through, is that different than hanging with a Marner or a veteran? Mar I mean, I know you're, you're like, you like you hang with Merrill a little bit because he's been a bit of a mentor, but different when a goalie's a buddy, the pressure they have night after night? Um, I don't know. I don't really really look at it that way or see it that way. I don't think Freddie does either. Um, he's a low-key guy. Yeah, he's a low-key guy. Um you know, he's, he's uh, obviously a competitor. He's been, uh, you know, our best player pretty much uh, on a number of occasions uh, this year. So, um, you know, I think he handles it really well. Obviously, uh, for him, there's a lot of pressure in, in Toronto, especially being, uh, you know, our starting goalie. But, you know, he handles it really well. And, you know, he's a guy that, uh, you know, likes to enjoy himself away from the rink and uh, likes to be around the guys and um, just hang out, I guess. So, when he's at the rink, he's focused, but you know, outside of the rink, he's a fun guy to be around. How old do you think Patrick Marlowe really is? Like, is, <laughs> is he ancient in your mind? <laughs> yeah, me and Mitchie kind of uh, give him a hard time some, sometimes uh, when we're talking about age and stuff. But, I mean, he's probably like our fastest guy on the team. He still gets up and down the ice so well. And, I mean, he's 38, 39 years old, whatever he is. And uh, to be able to play the way he's playing right now and can still – and still moves the way he's moving. Uh, he's always done, uh, done something right. So, you know, he's a fun guy to be around, too. And he still uses the two-piece stick. Yeah, we've been trying to get him to go to a one-piece, and he, he tries it. He goes right back to the two-piece because I guess he's just comfortable with it. But uh, we give him a hard time about that, too, because I haven't used a two-piece since I was maybe 12 years old. So uh, he's been using it his whole career, but it's obviously worked out for him. you start the building on fire if you started uh, using oh, a two-piece. Final. The torch. <laughs> Final question for me. If you could uh, help Babcock with the lines. Babs. Babs with the lines. Who would be your line mates? <laughs> oh. I don't think I'm going to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> We're kidding. We're kidding. But we are trying to get you to open up a little. You know? <laughs> He's been great. <laughs> He's been fantastic. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, well, Doug, Doug, what, Doug coached in two All-Star games, and, and he benched. Uh, who did you bench? Roman Hammer. Roman Hammer. He benched Roman Hammer in one because he, he, he wanted the ten thousand uh, dollar bonus that <laughs> went with it. Uh, I, I would think that things have have loosened up, uh, uh, but you still get a hundred grand if you win this thing on hey, Sunday. Hey, hey, Austin, you know what skill you're in tomorrow? I don't. No, I don't, I'm not sure yet. What don't you want to be in? Fastest skating. <laughs> Nobody wants that eh, anymore. No, no. But luckily, we have some fast guys. Uh, so hopefully they'll just look, uh, look past me and pick like Eichel and, and those guys. Is, is there one you want to do? Them. Is there one you want to do? Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing the, the actress of shooting. I really like that one. Um, even though, you know, I thought I did really well in it and then they put me up against Crosby and it just didn't go well for me after that. But, um, yeah, I like that one. Um, I can't really think. I think they changed it up this year, so I'm not really sure. Have you heard about the Pirate Festival that's happening at the same time down there? Yeah, I have. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be uh, pretty uh, pretty crazy. Somebody told me to bring an eye patch. <laughs> we, uh, we appreciate your time today, and uh, congratulations on the first half of the season, back into a playoff spot, and uh, expectations changing all along, but you're going to your second All-Star game in your second year. And uh, that deserves uh, an acknowledgement. Thanks for doing this. And, and don't be afraid to give Babcock yeah. some tips on lines and ice time. <laughs> what do you call him? Do you call him Babs right. or Babcock or, or a coach? What do you don't call him? Go, don't ask him that. Call, <laughs> call Babs. Babs? Okay. Uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. See you. Thanks, man. Uh, there's Austin Matthews.